Good evening, welcome to Friday Night Prayer in Lent. This is our second Friday Night Prayer in Lent and I hope that you're all okay. We've all made it through another week and I hope it's been okay for you. Um, we are going to use the same prayers as last week. So this is taken from a healing liturgy for Lent. So our focus throughout Lent is on prayers for healing and wholeness. We gather here in your presence, God, in our need and bringing with us the needs of the world. We come to you, for you come to us in Jesus. And you know by experience what human life is like. We come with our faith and with our doubts. We come with our hopes and with our fears. We come as we are because you invite us to come and you have promised never to turn us away. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We live in a world where much is amiss and we regret any part we may have played in harming creation or causing pain. We come to confess our faults and recognise our frailty before you. Jesus, friend of sinners, you bring hope in our despair. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, healer of the sick, you give strength in our weakness. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, destroyer of evil, you bring life on our dying. Lord, have mercy. God of our hidden depths, show us that we are forgiven so that we may forgive. Touch our wounds with your healing, so that we may be people who heal. Help us to be at peace with ourselves, so that we may become makers of your peace for others. Through Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. I praise the wounds and blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my body. I praise the wounds and blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my soul. I praise the wounds and blood of the Lamb that heals the weakness of my spirit. I praise the blood of the Lamb that makes all things new. Amen. Our God is the God of all people, the God of heaven and earth the God of sea and rivers, the God of sun and moon, the God of all the heavenly bodies, the God of the lofty mountains, the God of the lowly valleys. God is above the heavens and is beneath the heavens, heaven and earth and sea and everything that is within them, such God has as his abode. He inspires all things. He gives life to all things. He stands above all things. And he stands beneath all things. God of compassion and love, we offer you all our suffering and pain. Give us strength to bear our weakness healing even where there is no cure, peace in the midst of turmoil, and love to fill the spaces in our lives. O oh Lord, kindle a flame in our hearts that we may show your compassion in the world and that through us Christ may walk on the earth once more. 
Father, I abandon myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you do, I will thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me, as in all your creatures, and I shall ask nothing else, my Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. I give it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands with a trust beyond all measure, because you are my Father. May God's blessing surround us and love fill our hearts. May Christ walk beside us and never depart. Holy Spirit, keep us faithful and strong to the end. As the stars light our pathway, sweet blessings descend. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing that we may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Whatever this week has been for you, I hope that you come to this evening um, and are able to find some peace and some gentleness in what we're sharing here tonight. And I hope that's useful to you for whatever um, it is in, in your own life that, that needs to be healed. I hope these prayers have been helpful in that way. Whether it's, it's healing for yourself or healing for someone else or healing for a community that you're part of or just praying for healing in the world around us in whatever form that might take. Um, it's been a, a rough week um, in, in our little corner of the world in one way or another. There's, there's, been, um, there's been bad news, there's been bereavement um, and we are just trying to um, hopefully pray for and, and support those around us who we care for, who are going through tough times. So if that's where you are this week, if this has been a, a tough old week and, and you're glad that it's coming to an end, then then you're very much in, in my thoughts and, and my prayers tonight. Um, I pray for all our Jewish brothers and sisters who are celebrating Purim um, last night and, and today, um, I think it was. Um, so anyone you know who is celebrating another, another uh, landmark of the year in this restricted way, and we pray for them. And for ourselves and for each other, I hope that a little bit of, of healing can be found in our lives this weekend in one way or another through um, through contact with each other, through engaging with things which, which bring us joy and, and lift our hearts and we're just trying to um, connect a little bit with the divine, whatever that might mean to you. And so I pray that the week ahead is gentle and peaceful and kind to you. And as always, if you need to reach out to someone, our little community is here. And um, I'm ready to hold you and walk beside you in whatever it is you may be experiencing right now. And for those of you who have cause to be joyful and to celebrate, 
um, in whatever form that might be taken, um, then we are joyful and celebrate alongside you. So I am going to bid you good night. I'll be here again next Friday, continuing to pray for the healing throughout Lent and pray that between today and then that you stay well and that you look after yourselves. Good night.